All right, friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and Livewire application. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we can update authenticated user profile information using Laravel 45. So let me show you the demo first so that you will understand. Over here, we have the name and the email field and we can update those fields. So let me change this to John Doe and save changes and it got saved. It is reflected over here and here as well and in some of the applications I have seen that when we save those changes it do not reflect over here we need to refresh the page right but that do not provide great user experience right those little improvements also give some kind of user experience better so I will show you how we can update or reflect those changes over here and here as well so let's get started so we have already installed 45 on our project so if you go to app and then actions we have these 45 folder and we have different files over here right so you notice that if we have one file called update user profile informations and over here we have the update method so we'll be using that method so before we start let me go to update profile the letter psv file and then over here let's add wire model directory so over here this will be type of text and then let's add wire model the default equals state dot name similarly over here wire model the default equals state dot email okay and on summit let's go over here Let's do wire submit prevent the default behavior and then call the method called update profile. Okay, so let's create this method on our component class called update profile.psp file. So over here, let's create that method update profile and then let's tie it down here. Okay, so let me refresh this, click on save changes and we are calling that method. See, it's perfect. So now let me go to update user profile information and over here on this class, we are implementing the interface called updates user profile information. So we'll be using this interface. So over here, let's type in that interface and the variable is updated. Okay, so let's import this interface and we imported that and now if i do die and dumb updater then let's see what we will get so let me click on save changes and we are getting app actions 45 update user profile information we are getting the instance of that class right and on that class we can call the update method so let's call that update method so we can simply do updater and then update and if we go to update user profile information then it is receiving the user and the area of input okay so we need to pass the authenticated user that we want to update the information and the area of input so we can do name this state name and then email this state email okay so now let me go to update user profile information and on this method there is already a validation for name and email and there is one conditionals as well and we are filling that information called name and the email okay and over here let me do this dispatch browser event called updated okay and the message is profile updated successfully so now let me go back to the browser and refresh the page let me do save changes and it is saying that undefined index name because we aren't passing that name so let's Create the mount method on, on that mount method. So let's populate the name and the email by default. So let me create the mount method. 
mount over here let's say user equals authenticated user to array okay now if i do die and dump user then we will get these fields and those values right so we just need name and the email right so instead of doing this we can do authenticated user and then calling the only method only in passing the array of name and email now if i do this and refresh the page we will get name and email only okay so over here we can simply do this state equals the result now we'll have name and email and if i refresh the page and we are populating that data because we are using wire model on that input right so now if i do save changes and it is saying profile updated successfully now let me remove this and then save changes it is saying profile updated successfully but let me do paste refresh and it is updated right which is fine now if i do not provide the name and do save changes and we are under validations but we are not showing the validations message so let's do that first so let me go to update profile of blade PSP and on this input let me add a div with the class of invalid feedback okay and on inside this we can display the message so let's grab this inside of error directory if there is error for name then we will show this and error okay and over here let's do if there is error for name and we will show the is invalid class otherwise we will not do anything so now let me save refresh the page let me remove this for now and it is working the name please require and that is coming from update user profile information and over here okay so let's do the same for email as well so let me copy everything from there let me go over here and then paste it let me change this to email similarly over here we can do if there is error for email then we will add the class of is invalid and then end error okay let me refresh the page and let me remove this save this and it is saying the email field is required which is fine now let me go to users let me grab this email and let's use that email so let me save changes and it is saying that the email has already been taken it is also coming from this validations okay over here it should be unique so everything is working now the final thing is let me change this to do and then save changes and it is saying that the email is already taken so let me change this to john at example.com save changes it is working but we need to refresh the page to see those changes right and this is dummy so let's fix that we go to update profile so over here instead of john doe let's use authenticated user and then name okay now let me change this to let's say changed and you can notice over here let me save changes and it is already working because we are inside of same component called update profile but it is not changing over here right so let's change over here as well so to do that let me go to update profile.psp component class and after the profile it updated we are dispatching the browse event also let's emit the event called let's say name changed and on the value we can pass the change name called authenticated user name okay so 
let me go to date profiler blender psv file and over here on this file we can listen for the we can listen for that event so over here let's add a directory called post to our stack called js and let's set the script tag okay and over here let's use jquery document.ready function and when the document is ready we'll perform the operations or we'll be listening to the liveware event using liveware and on the event name is named change and as a second argument we can pass the closure right so let's say console.log name changed so now let's try this out let me refresh the page now let me open up the console and then let me click on save changes and on the console we see name changed okay and if we go to update profile the PSP we are passing that value as a second argument so we can receive that let's say name and over here let's console.log name okay if I do save changes and we see the test name so instead of name let me change this to changed name okay now the remaining thing is to change this name over here and here as well so to do that let's use custom directory so let me go to aside the blade.psv file and over here instead of using class or id let's create our own custom directory called x ref and then the value is let's say user name okay this is not specific to alpine but we are creating the custom attribute called xref and the value is username so let's do the same on our header as well Nav bar and over here let's me paste that as well so let me go to update profile and using jquery we can select that elements using custom attributes so we can pass that attribute instead of array okay so and on each element we need to change the text to the changed name okay let me save this refresh the page and now let's see if this works so let me change this to john doe so let me save changes and it is changed over here and here as well see how cool this is right so let me change this one more time save changes and it is saved and it is changed over here and if i refresh the page and it is saved in our database as well see how cool this is so this much for this video i hope you learned something from this video and don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this and till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one